Hello YouTubers, this is AVAL1998 and this is my video of my uh, LEGO Turbo Prop. Now, let's see here. This is a uh, turbine with a uh, paddle design where there's two paddles. There's two paddles it's right here and they spin. And the advantage I found of this is that you can use ramps to make it like more airtight around the paddle. So, um, but yeah pretty tight fit though, but it's more sealed so it also creates a nice little chopping sound when it's under a load. And uh, so we have a little gearbox right here where it slows down the turn and I was trying to run this on a vacuum engine but uh, it didn't work out quite right. And so this is another little gearbox right here. No change to speed, just, uh, just reverses. And this is a little shaft right here, oh, so that way this is removable. Everything right here is modular, so then it goes up here to a clutch. Let me crappy uh, Lego clutches, where it's like already prefabbed and everything. So I'll go ahead and engage it. That's engaged. So no, I'll just leave it disengaged so I can show you the turbine. Another shaft right here. Then now up here, we come up here to the propeller. Now. This is modular two. So, this is a controllable pitch propeller. Uh, still, sometimes tends to like to slide out, but I fixed it to where there's hardly any centrifugal force to tear it apart. But it still can come apart. So, now right here, let's move this back to increase the pitch. Not that much, but a little bit. Creates a nice little breeze, and. Up here, this is how it works. You have the little swash plate right here. And it's also loaded by rubber bands right here. So I pull that back and the, rubber, the swash plate goes with it. And the swash plate right here, the blue one, goes, the, it's uh, shifted right here towards this. So it goes backwards and pulls the blades back, pushes the blades back. So that's how it works. And the rubber bands right here is to keep, try to keep it together so I can go a little bit faster. And I'm running this on a uh, garage air compressor over there behind the grill. So there's a little hole right here. And here we go. So as you can hear that, now I'm going to engage the clutch. Now, here we go. Yeah, and so as you can hear that, now if I could have some way to uh, push this back somewhere. Oh, uh, let's see. I have some scrap foam over here. Um, this should do. Um, ah, here we go. This Take this rubber band off. Move it back here so it doesn't get caught in anything. Now, um, it might get real loud here because I think that air compressor is about to go off. So.
Oh. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's why. So right now, it'll probably be a great time to show you guys the inside of this uh, paddle. The only problem with this is that it can be kind of hard to uh, reassemble it. But the uh, problem with the paddle design is that you still got to have the paddles horizontal from the uh, well, parallel with the shaft. And sometimes that can lead to the centrifugal force uh, to where it kind of separates. And with it being in a tight space, it's kind of hard to do that. So, as you can see here, it's a... Uh, well, not as you can see here. Uh, Like I say, it can be quite difficult. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's why I broke apart. Now this is why I make things modular. Now, see, I just simply removed the drive shaft and stuff off of this. So, there you go. Got that broken piece out. Now, just gotta put it back in. Well, see, it turns quite nicely. Now, if they see. That gap right there, that's pretty airtight. So now I just gotta get this back on top again. So it goes on like this. And here, so uh, back in its uh, place right here on its uh, mount. Now take this little, uh, take the U joint. And, uh, try to get it all lined here. Now, there we go. It's uh, ready to go in. Now, just take this. Now, here we can go again. Now, I'm not sure how it's in balance because you got everything pretty parallel with each other. But, uh, it kind of shakes a little bit. Okay, what happened here now? Oh, that's why. There you go. And that's what you get.